This is the Rode Broadcaster microphone. It's been my go-to mic now for the last six months or so. I did a video on it a while back just looking through the specs and uh, just giving an audio sample of this microphone. And someone asked the question, well, that's fine, but how does it actually sound if you're not using it in a kind of acoustically treated room? So this is a fairly good room as far as that's concerned. It's, uh, it's got all sort of stuff around it to stop reverb in the room. But how does the mic sound when it's used in something a little bit more normal and natural? So what I thought I'd do today is just wander around the house and just show you that because our house is terrible in that regard. So right now I'm using the Rode Broadcaster from about where I'd use it, so about 10 centimeters away from the mic. But I'm now going to step out of here and uh, come into a slightly less favorable environment. So uh, this has got a uh, pretty quick echo time and uh, and also some reverb in this, uh, this part of the house. And then I'll step into the uh, kitchen area, which is uh, particularly bad. It's one of the worst rooms of the house, but this is still, again, 10 centimeters away from the uh, Rode Broadcaster. You can see how well, uh, how good the mic sounds, or I actually, I'm not listening to it at the moment, so I can't tell. But let's try a little bit further away. So that's from uh, 30 centimeters away from the microphone. And uh, just wander, into, wander through into um, our living room, because the living room's a little bit better than the uh, kitchen. It's got a, it's obviously sort of sofas and got a rug down and things, but um, still not particularly good acoustically. So this is just giving a variety of different room environments that I would uh, potentially use a mic in. And uh, let's just take a walk upstairs because um, one of the uh, rooms upstairs in the house is, is it's got some really weird acoustics. They kind of bounce on and off the wall. It's also at the moment got something on that will uh, cause noise in the background too. So uh, let's have a listen in here and see, I'll just back a bit further away from the mic so you can hear the odd sort of reflections this room gives. It kind of has got a really, almost like a bathroom sound to it. It's just because the the way the walls are shaped and stuff, they just, it needs a bit more stuff in here basically. But uh, again, moving a bit closer to the mic, see what difference that makes and uh, see how it comes across if you were just using it, you know, close up to the mic, which is how you'd use a broadcaster mic like this. You wouldn't generally be far away like this. You'd probably, you know, potentially want to get quite up close to the mic like this. How does it sound in here? And then uh, just one more room. Let's try here, because this is uh, got this has got kind of uh, probably the one of the longest reverb times in the house because we've got uh, bits of sound going everywhere really down the down the stairs and into other rooms and stuff like that. So um, this is probably one of the worst spots in the house as far as audio goes. Uh, but uh, let's see how the mic sounds. All right, so there we go. Quick test, just different environment, uh, the different uh, situations acoustically around, well, at least around my house, and uh, just testing how the Rode Broadcaster mic sounds in those other situations. So let's take a, finally, before we finish, let's just take a quick wander back down into the uh, studio here. And um, you'll see, hopefully, the difference that makes and we're just now back in the, the working environment here so uh slightly deader you know slightly uh better controlled sound in here but uh yeah i've not i really have no idea how well this will come out so hopefully it gives you a bit of information a bit of insight into how the mic performs it's a good mic i love it love the sound of it and uh, worth every penny the road broadcaster i'll put links in the uh, description thanks for watching